Hey guys, welcome to Football Manager 2019 and the final part of Life After Wenger. Yes, that's right, today is the last episode of this series. It was only ever intended to be my beta series anyway and uh, I'm probably not enjoying it enough to continue it into a second season so you'll just have to watch The Journeyman if you want to uh, get your fix of Captain Goodspeed. But anyway, uh, we'll be playing Brighton and, and Huddersfield in this final episode today. And things have, have went all right since you were last with us. Um, all the way back here, uh, when we went out on penalties, we're actually... Well, I thought we won beaten. We did lose to, to Watford at home. That was disappointing. Um, but we did beat Burnley 2-1, Lacazette getting two goals there. Uh, we then uh, drew one all against Leicester, Gwendouzi getting the goal there. Drew one all against Liverpool, pretty good result uh, in that one. Uh, then beat Burnley 1-0 away from home. Mkhitaryan scoring there. Disappointing one all draw against Wolves and uh, obviously that 2-1 defeat to Watford. But we've bounced back with two uh, consecutive victories. One against Southampton, one against Bournemouth. And uh, that all means that in the Premier League table we are now in 5th place. We're 8 points unfortunately behind 4th place Man United. And no chance of getting into the Champions League through the Europa League. So, fifth is the best we can do. We're pretty much certain to finish there. Uh, we've got Brighton and Huddersfield today. So, hopefully we can get over the line and, and finish in fifth. Which would be an improvement on last season, I guess. But, uh, just, just spells of inconsistency this year. Too many draws. We had a wonderful period um, just, bef ju just before and after Christmas. But... Uh, there's just too many stupid defeats in there, like that one. You know, we, we could have won that game and, and we just still had a chance of being in the Champions League going into the, uh, today's episode. But that's the way it goes, you know. Um, sometimes that, that that's just the way th things happen. Uh, this is the team that we're going to play. We'll have a full look at squad performances and stuff before we finish off. But uh, we're going to have Petr Cech in goal with Bellerin, Bartra... Koscielny and Kalazanac in defence with Torreya and Ramsey in the midfield with Mkhitaryan, Ozil and Welbeck starting behind Lacazette up top. Uh, so in other news, Balotti is actually caught up to Lacazette in uh, the goal scoring department. So we might might put him on today. We'll we'll reward him for his hard work. We'll stick him as a poor check because pressing forward just doesn't seem to work with this formation. So we'll go with uh, pressing forward. Uh, with Porcha, sorry, and uh, we'll see how that works out today. But obviously this should be a match that we're capable of winning. Whether we will do it or not is another question. But uh, no, it's been, a, it's been a good series. It's been frustrating though. I really want to do something good with Arsenal. But just, I don't know, too many inconsistent spells, as I've shown you before have cost us this season and I can feel the sneeze coming on and it's absolutely awful <laughs> absolutely awful but uh, hopefully it'll go away in in the course of this match I can already feel it's going away now thankfully but uh, no as I said it was always planned to be the, the beta save so uh, we will be ending it today and uh, moving on to something different probably in, in the next couple of weeks or so um, I'll also have me uh first match in the, the, the FM Premier League uh, out this week as well. We've just given a, a penalty away, which is stupid. And Brighton are 1-0 up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it could well be a terrible end of the season for us, to be honest. Uh, Andorn has just scored there. Rather annoying. Keep it making himself nice and big. Didn't really do anything, though. Um... But yeah, FM Premier League, I'm recording that, well, I recorded that last night, so uh, that'll be up on the channel this week, uh, I'm taking on West Ham, so uh, that'll be that'll be interesting, <laughs> to say the least, um, you know, obviously I manage West Ham in, uh, <coughs> in FM 18, so I'm a little bit familiar with their squad, and hopefully we'll be able to do something good with them. But uh, here's Welbeck, and it's cleared off the line. A little bit laggy. I really don't know why. It's only this save that I've found that it's been really laggy for me. Um, I, don't, I don't know about you guys, whether you've noticed it, but certainly while I've been playing offline and stuff, there's just the, the little bit of lag every now and then. But 1-0 at half-time. Pretty disappointing performance, has to be said. It, it feels very much like the end of the season. 
uh, you know, there's no enthusiasm about the players, and yeah, I'm I'm quite quite happy to be letting this team go. Um, not not entirely sure that that we've uh, extracted the best out of them. Let's say here's Kalazanac, here's Özil. Now Kalazanac, can they prove me wrong? Come on, Kalazanac down to Ramsey. Come on, Özil. Why to Kalazanac? This is a chance. Kalazanac to Ramsey. Kalazanac again. We're gonna end up losing it here. Özil, Ramsey, Ramsey. <laughs> Oh, what a goal that was by Aaron Ramsey. Curled it round the goalkeeper. That was absolutely fantastic. What a goal that is. Perhaps the best goal of the series. Uh, Ozil to Ramsey, and he turned, and look at the curl on that, into the uh, bottom right corner. And it's one all, and Aaron Ramsey with his 12th goal of the season, I think that said. That's pretty crazy for a... A central midfielder. Good ball forward towards Andone. Now on the ball again. He gets it in. Oh, he is gross. Oh, that was a chance for for 2-0. 2-1, uh, sorry. But we managed to, to hold them off. Let's uh, get creative out there, boys. Andrea Bellotti. Uh, after, after all the praise we were giving him before, hasn't turned up. Just doesn't like his... He doesn't like performing on camera, so... Uh, it's your fault <laughs> for watching specifically you who's watching now it's your fault <sighs> for Bellotti's underperformance we'll bring a Wobi on and, and Aubameyang and, and maybe we can find a winner in this match come on come on boys you know you want to <laughs> 70 minutes gone Just there's just nothing Nothing coming from the from the lads. We'll bring a Wobi on. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Lacazette. We'll move a Wobi out wide, and you never know. We might be able to to, to get something in this final ten minutes. Come on, a, a little bit of inspiration would be lovely here. Is Bellerin? Bellerin to Lacazette. Back to Bellerin. Can he cross it in? Oh, it's Özil. Özil back to Bellerin. Just cross it in. Özil. What's he doing? Ozil again. Aubameyang. <laughs> that was the stupidest goal I've ever seen. It really was. I don't know why Bellerin just didn't whip one in. They just, just kept having this 1-2 battle between them. Ozil eventually almost lost it. And it just bounced around, really. And Aubameyang was there. He was like, oh, what should I do? And then he put it in the back of the net. <laughs> But do on, so we might actually get a victory here, which would be absolutely lovely. Uh, Man United beaten Leicester, so we, um, we couldn't have qualified for the Champions League anyway. Özil uh, scores, but he is offside, unfortunately. Uh, nice little set piece there. Was he actually offside? Yeah, he was. To be fair, he was. <clears throat> but yeah, Chelsea uh, are going to win the, the league, which is an interesting one. I'm not sure that that's what will happen this season in real life, but uh, that's what FM is predicting, at least. But funnily enough, in uh, my journeyman save, I think Arsenal won the first two Premier League titles uh, of the save. So, yeah, may maybe we've underperformed with them, but nah, I'm not bothered. This was all about just having a little bit of fun in the Premier League um, and and I don't know experiment with a couple of the new tactics which we have done uh, we've got the victory and apparently we deserve it I'm not so sure I don't think we played that well but we got the victory nonetheless and now we can go into the final day of the season against Huddersfield with our tails up high well, the final match of the year then, one change, Aubameyang comes in for Belotti up top, simply because he scored that absolutely hilarious goal in the last game. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a challenging season, it would be nice to end it on a high, obviously we beat uh, Brighton just about in the in the last game, so it would be nice to, to, to go out there, pour performance in for the fans and uh, end this series on a high with a nice thrashing of uh, Huddersfield but you can probably bet your bottom dollar that that's not what's going to happen today but uh, here's Torreira anyway 
Bellerin, Bellerin on the ball. Mkhitaryan gets it in. Oh, it's a penalty. Apparently he was tripped. Didn't see that, but uh, anyway, it's going to be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang uh, to step up and take the penalty, and he scores, and it's 1-0 after four minutes. That is exactly what we wanted to see. That's not what these guys came to see, though. The Huddersfield fans who will probably feel slightly aggrieved by that penalty, but never mind. Top corner of uh, of the goal. You, you've got to be happy with that one. Uh, and it's 1-0, so that's, that's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, thank you for all the support on this series, by the way. It really does mean a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really glad that you're enjoying the content. And uh, there's been, been plenty of comments and stuff and likes uh, on this series, which is absolutely great. Uh, the Newcastle United stuff is, is now going to be streamed over on Twitch. I did my first uh, stream on Twitch on Saturday, and uh, it was absolutely fantastic. So there might even be one tonight, depending on... Um, how much work I've got to do and if I'm free but uh, yeah and if it is tonight I'm probably already live on there which you'll have seen earlier on if you're watching this when it comes out of course but uh, head over to there uh, www.twitch.tv forward slash Captain Goodspeed I believe is the place to go um, it, I, I will uh, get round to, to leaving the link to that down in the description in future videos but probably won't for this one you can guarantee it now i'm talking about it but uh no it was really fun really enjoyed it but uh, the journeyman will still be out every day at 4 p.m uk time over on here albamiang with the shot and it's a good save by lurzel there <clears throat> but we have got a corner and it's going to be Mesut Ozil to take it he gets it into the middle that's an absolutely horrific cross and Welbeck couldn't even uh, get get the ball back in after how terrible that was from Ozil. <sighs> a man that hasn't really had a good season, to be honest with you. And I think we're going to actually take him off. He doesn't deserve to be on the pitch. Um, so we're going to put Mkhitaryan in the middle. We're going to bring on Danny Drinkwater, one of our summer signings. He's done all right this season. Certainly uh, wasn't the best signing in the world, but... Uh, for eight million, I don't think you can really complain with how much he's contributed to the team. Um, Bart has been brilliant, uh, and and Bellotti's done okay the second half of the season. So, on the whole, signings have have went reasonably well. Um, speaking of new signings, we'll bring on Bellotti for this last twenty minutes to see if he can finally finally score on camera because I'm pretty sure he hasn't so far, and he's always seemed to have terrible games. I mean, it looks like it's just going to be a boring end of the season, a 1-0 against Huddersfield, and Man United six points clear of us uh, in fourth, but uh, fifth, I guess, you know, it's an improvement on last year, as I said, and, uh, you know, give us a couple of more years, and, and we could be. Uh, getting into the Champions League again. That's forward. Ramsey's there and he scores. It's 2-0. His 13th goal of the season. He could well end up our top scorer, to be honest with you. Um, he's certainly going to be up there. I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, no, I think surely Lacazette's got more. He had a really good start of the season. I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe if Ramsey scores a couple more today, he'll end up top scorer, which is... Absolutely disgraceful in, in, in a team with the strikers we have. But uh, never mind, here's Bellotti. Uh, it's going to be fitting that he's going to get the final touch of this series, is he? No, it was Welbeck. <laughs> Free kick. Is the keeper going to spoil it? Is he going to spoil it? No, Danny Welbeck gets the final touch of the series. And there we have it, 2-0. <sighs> You know, it's 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 fine. It's fine. It's a decent season in the end, um, but not not nothing brilliant. So, yeah, let's have a little look at uh, squad performances for the season. Then top goal scorer is Belotti, Lacazette, and Ramsey with thirteen each. Twelve for Aubameyang, eight for Mkhitaryan, five for Guendouzi in the end. Uh, four for for Ozil, four for will be four for Welbeck, three each for Terea, Nikita, and Koscielny. Who, of course, uh, I mean, it says he played thirty games this season, but he was out the first half of it. So 
he's come back strong in the second half of the season. Top assists is Mesut Ozil, surprisingly, with 12. Um, Torreira got 10 as well. Bellerin, 8. Mkhitaryan, 7. Kalazanac, 6. Uh, Lacazette, Iwobi, uh, Liechtensteiner, Ramsey, Bologna, Aubameyang, all with uh, multiple assists. Uh, who had the best end of the season? Aaron Ramsey with a 7.3. We've got a 7.1 for Kalazanac. Uh, Koscielny, 7.12 for Kalazanac. Uh, and 7.08 for Bellerin. Top average rating, the best player this season. Danny Welbeck with a 7.21, a 7.19 for Torreira there, 7.1 uh, for Kalazanac and Bellerin, 7.09 for Ramsey, 7.04 for Bartra, and a 7.03 for Koscielny. Uh, also, uh, Monreal had a 7, and uh, who was the worst player this season? Aubameyang, wow, he was the worst player, 6.7. Uh, Xhaka also in the games he played wasn't that good Belotti wasn't that good uh, what about Drinkwater 6.93 very respectable uh, Bartra as we've seen over a 7 so the new signings okay uh, weren't brilliant but they, they, they did an okay job uh, competitions wise we obviously got the final of the League Cup Lost in the final. We were beaten in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Disappointing. And we were knocked out in the second knockout round by Chelsea on penalties uh, in the Europa League. Who is in the final of that? Liverpool and Chelsea. So Chelsea made it all the way at the final. We could have well been there against Liverpool having a showdown in this final episode. But it just didn't happen. And uh, on the whole, if you, if you look at our season, you can see that we just had a very up and down time of it you know we were only ever in the top four once um and really we're only ever in contention for fifth these last few weeks um you know from from week 30 onwards so i guess we didn't deserve to finish in the top four in the end we had a low point of 13th uh, after the 3-2 defeat to leicester which was on camera we were 2-0 up in that game that was that was a, a, de a definite low um and yeah, that is, I guess, where we're going to leave everything for this series, for this season. And hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.